Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with some more discussion. No online action today, but we are back in Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, let's talk about the Crone Sword. So some of you had mentioned that this thing is completely broken. I had been having a discussion with Indie Pride and some others about it, so we figured, hey, let's see if we can test this thing and settle it once and for all. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know... I am going to be hosting a tournament on Sunday, September 9th. Uh, I'm going to have a link down in the description below if you want to go sign up. It's using the standard uh, Warhammer Cup rules, a.k.a. the rules for the community tournaments run by Shetland Apache and others. Um, so for those of you who are familiar, it will be just that. For those of you who are not familiar, it's a great opportunity to jump in, test yourself against some really good players, and see uh, see what you've learned. You know, For those of you who have been playing multiplayer more recently, trying to get into the game, learn more, and improve. Uh, it's a great way to kind of, uh, well, improve more, first of all, and second, to kind of test yourself, see what you've learned, see what you can still improve on, and just in general, playing and watching competitive level players makes you a better player. So I definitely recommend if, uh, if you don't plan on joining the tournament, at least join us to watch. I'll be, of course, streaming uh, all of the tournament games that I can, so join me on that day for that. But anyway, let's get back to the Crone Sword here, so let's see if we can settle this debate, if this thing even works or not. So, first off, let's go over the tooltip, because it seems that there is quite a bit of confusion here. Let me see if I can uh, clear that up. So, starting uh, with the type, direct damage, obviously, has the area of effect, which you can see highlighted on the map there. Um, <clears throat> it is a constant duration but it's only active if, we're going to skip the targets for now and go down to that active if in melee. So basically that means Hellebron has to be in melee for this aura to be active. She doesn't necessarily have to be winning combat, she just has to be in melee for this aura to activate. Then any enemies within that area of effect who are losing combat will start to get drained, supposedly. Um, they don't necessarily have to be losing to Crone Hellebron herself, they just have to be losing combat in general in this area of effect, and supposedly they will take damage. Uh, we'll see if that actually works. Uh, the thing that I had heard is that it deals damage every 11 seconds, but it only has a 10 second duration, something like that. Um, uh, Indie Pride had mentioned that Duck on the forums had said that it is supposed to deal damage as soon as the tick hits. So my idea here is that we're going to use characters because characters, they have one-on-one -on -one animations so it's very easy to see, you know, what damage is coming from attacks and what damage is coming from the magic tick because you can see clearly the atta attack animation comes, there's a chunk of damage and if there are any chunks of damage outside of those attack animations that we can clearly see, we know that the Crone Sword is working. So to help test that, Indy Pride's got some Empire characters. I've got Hellebron with some uh, crazy ladies here to back her up. These are good old death hags. So we're going to run them towards each other and see how this goes here. So, uh, yeah. We're going to get it in slow-mo once Hellebron gets a bit closer so we can actually watch, but theoretically it should proc on uh, the General of the Empire, assuming Hellebron can beat the crap out of him. So let's watch his health. He takes a hit of damage there. So far nothing. You can, If you watch the, uh, the emblems in the corner there, and now you see a tick of damage go down when that uh, emblem pops up right here. For those of you who didn't catch that, you can go rewatch that. Unfortunately, I can't rewind the replays, but um, so it does appear to deal damage when the effect is initially applied. However, throughout the duration of the effect, it doesn't deal any additional damage. So if we go over to the, here to this warrior priest, we can watch something similar happen. He's down to 2507. You can clearly see here comes the attack animation. Looks like the attack animation actually missed. Nope, it dealt some damage there, and another tick of damage immediately as soon as that cursed blade popped up. So it does appear to be working on that initial um, initial swing. Now let's see if it continues to deal damage. We're gonna put it back in normal speed for just a moment here, and then uh, kind of switch back and forth a little bit so that we can get close to the end of this duration. So let's watch this effect here should refresh, and if it's working properly, it should do another tick of damage when that buff refreshes. So. Uh, it's just about done here. You can see Hellebron's winding up for another attack, so probably going to be another chunk of damage from that. But you can see no damage when that effect was reapplied. Is it, it was at 2047, 
and just now dropping down when Hellebron finishes her attack animation. So hopefully that's made it a little bit clearer to you guys how this is actually working currently. I don't know if this is how it's intended to work, but um, what I had noticed is that if the buff continuously reapplies, it will only ever deal damage once. In other words, if, if uh, the buff stays up, if it continuously refreshes, it will not deal any additional damage. That being said, it seems like, and if I can catch it here, I think it was with this character on the far side, that the buff dropped off momentarily, and then after a few seconds was refreshed. You can see there, there's a small interval in between when the, dro when the buff drops, and now it's going to be reapplied once he starts losing it again, and there was a tick of damage. I don't know if you guys saw that super clear. I moved my mouse at the wrong time, but uh, yeah, the buff was off for, a f or the debuff rather, this effect here was off for a few seconds, and then it was reapplied, and it did another tick of damage. So, uh, again, I'm not sure if this is how it's intended to be working, but it appears that it only deals damage on the initial hit. If the buff, if the uh, if the effect stays up. Then it won't deal. We should be able to see this real quick again. Oh, nope, didn't quite catch it there, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, if the effect stays up, then it shouldn't deal any more damage. Like, let's see here. Okay, it's not on him. Let's see if we can watch it apply there, and it should. Okay, so yep. The attack animation and a tick of damage both. So you see there with the, with the slight interval with this warrior priest in between when the debuff was actually applied. Uh, that's when it would deal damage. So if there's an interval in between, it appears to deal damage. However, if it's if it continuously reapplies, which appears to be the case sometimes, it will not continue to do damage. So an interesting uh, interesting quirk of how that item actually works. Um, what can we take from this? Well, number one is that I really don't think that this is how this is intended to work. Um, it just seems like it's it's a little bit strange that the buff if if it doesn't have some kind of internal cooldown timer where it can't be continuously reapplied um, then it should deal damage every time it reticks right every 10 seconds but it doesn't appear to actually be doing so it appears to only deal damage on the initial hit and then the buff ha or the the debuff rather the effect has to actually drop off before it will reapply any uh, more damage so uh, another conclusion we can draw from this is it's probably not worth it to bring the crone sword because it, it if you're going to be using her to support a big sustained frontline engagement like you often will because she's a pretty good support character um it's potentially unless the buff has an opportunity to drop off like if the unit stops losing for a minute um or something else weird happens like they move temporarily out of the area of effect uh, then you're only ever going to get a little bit of damage on the initial tick, and you won't get any more damage after that. So it may not be worth bringing unless you're trying to really aggressively cycle charge with Crone Hellebron. Um, on the cart, I mean, it doesn't really have that high of a charge bonus. This is more meant as a support type chariot. I mean, it does have some uh, chariot type stats, you know, decent weapon strength, not the best, honestly. Hellebron has better on, on foot, but um, yeah, like if you were going to bring her on the Manticore, maybe it's worth it because then you can cycle charge Hellebron and make sure she's out of combat so the, the effect drops and then cycle charge her back in. But you're going to have to do that every 10 seconds to get good value from it. So it may not necessarily be worth bringing even with her up on the Manticore. Um, if this is how this is intended to work, I really don't see the point of this item anymore. If it's not intended, if this is not intentional, then uh, then this is bugged, and Creative Assembly needs to look at how they can refix the uh, the Crone Sword. But hopefully, this uh, this video has cleared up some of the confusion uh, surrounding the topic. I know myself and Indie Pride were having a discussion back and forth, both on Discord. Other people were jumping in. Uh, we were all trying to figure it out together, and I I thought, okay, after reading the the effect, I think I figured out a way we can test this, and hopefully, I demonstrated here. Hopefully, it was good and clear for you guys. Who are out there watching? Um, you know what I'm talking about here. How these how these effect uh, appears to be working. Um, it's a bit unfortunate because I mean before it was just blatantly overpowered and broken, but now it seems to be um, broken in a useless way, which is worse or is it? I'm not really sure. I guess it's better in a way, but it's still not ideal. So uh, yeah, I guess if anyone from Creative Assembly ends up watching this. Um, 
there we go. I don't know if I, if that was super clear, but uh, hopefully you guys all understood and, and uh, we can settle that debate once and for all. And hopefully, I know Creative Assembly announced a hotfix patch. I'm honestly not expecting any multiplayer balance changes. If we get some, hey, great. Not really expecting anything, but this does seem like a bug. So if it's possible it, that that's something that could be fixed in the, in this next upcoming update that's coming out relatively soon, that would be great. If not, it will have to wait until the new Faction DLC comes out whenever that is going to be, which is a bit unfortunate. But hey, there it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it was informative and cleared up some confusion and uh, hopefully is a bit definitive on how this crone sword is actually working right now and, and provides you guys with some useful information so thank you very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you do like this sort of content be sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification button don't forget to check out the tournament page and we'll see you next time